Hey, now Loxy subscribers. All right, I am going to tell you all about the Wildflowers Clear Build in a Bottle that came in your box. Yours might have a silver cap on it. That was a boo-boo. But that's okay. You can pretend like it's supposed to be like that. It's really supposed to have a black cap, but you know, all kinds of crazy things happen <laughs> when you have a product company. Sometimes uh, mistakes happen. So anyway, enjoy the fancy silver cap if you have it. Uh, but the Wildflower is built in a bottle. What is this stuff? It's a builder gel that comes in a bottle. And it's very exciting because it makes it just a little bit easier to apply builder gel. Some builder gels come in a pot and the problem that I had with that, although I love it, and if I'm doing a big, long, extreme shape, I wanna use the stuff in a pot. I would blow through a whole bottle on an extreme shape in like for a nail competition. But uh, when it comes to just doing like basic salon stuff, so maybe just like a moderate length of coffin or almond or square or whatever shape that's a moderate length, this is a great product to add some quick length and to do an extension. This is also a great product for adding strength and durability to your own nails. You just don't wanna use it too thin because if you use it too thin, there's a possibility that it could crack or chip if your nail is like bendy. So just watch that you don't put it too thin. But this is also super super amazing for encapsulating glitter. So if you're looking for a great crystal clear product to do some encapsulations with, give this stuff a try. I'll tell you some really exciting things. This stuff actually comes uh, in pink and in a white. And I'll tell you the white is not white white. It's like milk. So if you're trying to do milk bath nails and you wanna put little flakes of gold leaf or silver leaf in it, maybe some glitter, maybe some pieces of dried flowers and you want it to look like a milk bath, you're gonna to wanna to get the wildflowers built in a bottle in white. It is a milky white. Same with the pink. You can use this with our angel flakes or with our glitter called snow fluff to make opals. Oh my gosh, I could just drool. I'm talking about all these things. You can't even see what I'm talking about. Maybe I'll have to edit this and like put some pictures up for you guys, but there's some really cool, cool stuff that you can do with this clear build in a bottle. So this cures in an LED lamp for 30 seconds, two minutes in a UV. What else do I need to tell you about it? Mm. Oh, 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 I remembered. Okay, I knew there was something important. <laughs> so this stuff will not stick to press-on nails. So if you're like, oh, my press-on nails, they feel weak, I need to bulk them up with something. This is not what you wanna use to really bulk them up. You can't, this stuff just doesn't like sticking to press-on nails unless you rough the press-on nails up. So if you're trying to do something like that, you're gonna wanna go with the base coat instead. But still, this is an awesome product to have, really great product. So I hope you guys have some fun using this. And I'm gonna show you a quick technique using this one. Hopefully it gets your creative juices flowing. Here we go. So we're gonna begin by first dehydrating the nail with an acetone and alcohol mixture, and then applying the wildflowers base. Now the base is thick, it's not like other bases uh, that are like thin. And I love that about this base. You can really take your time applying it and make sure that you get it really close to the proximal fold. And what's so great about it is that it stays put. So just make sure you wipe the brush off good on the neck of the bottle uh, before you start to apply it because you don't wanna apply it thick. Once it's applied, you're gonna cure for 30 seconds and then you're gonna fool with putting a form on. A lot of beginners make the mistake of trying to put a form on with their bare hand and they end up touching the nail plate and really the best time to adhere a product to the nail is right after it's been dehydrated. So do the base first and then do your form. Uh, I'm just quickly fitting this. Typically, I would probably shape my nail a little better and cut the form a little bit, but just for a quick example. Uh, I'm moving a little fast. So using the Wildflowers Clear built in a bottle, what I'm gonna do is use the brush that comes right in that bottle to extend the nail. Now, when I make a mistake on this part, it's usually that I didn't 
get it into the corners. So you can see that's like the first place I go. See that corner right there with my brush is always the first place I go to so that I make sure I don't miss it. And then I pull out the length of the nail. And the last thing that I do is coat over the natural nail to kind of join it all together. You don't need to do this part thick. Once you've done that, flip the nail upside down for a few seconds because it just helps the product to pull where it needs to go. Cure that for 30 seconds and then you can pop your form. And at this point, you'll see if you screwed up on the sides. Hopefully you didn't and uh, you applied the clear gel well. So now grab the Wildflowers Spider Gel. I'm not sure what color you got in your box, but they're all great. If you did get a sparkly one, just make sure that you use it thin. Don't go too thick. And dip a stylus, a dotting tool, whatever you wanna use in there, and just start twirling it around. This part's the fun part. If you screw it up, you can wipe it off and you can do it again. But I like to just have fun and kinda let it do what it does. Something important to remember before you cure, wipe it off the skin and also wipe it from the underside of the nail just in case any stuck underneath there. It usually doesn't. So this is cured. Now what we have to do is encapsulate this. So we're going on again with the Wildflowers Clear built in a bottle. And we're gonna put a, a pretty thin coat just over the whole nail. I don't wanna build this up really thick yet because it'll get really warm in the light. I mean, this stuff, it's a pretty cool gel uh, compared to other gels I've used, but there's still no sense in doing it super thick because it can get hot if you put it super thick. So flip it upside down, let it pool. You can see this nail is still very flat. It needs something in the middle there to build an apex. So you're just gonna take the gel again, coat the whole nail. Every time you add the gel, you wanna coat the whole nail because when I come back to add this blob in into the center to really build that apex, it's gonna help that sort of just melt down in nice and smooth. And then I have to do much less filing later, which is always great, because I don't know anybody that just loves to file nails. I'm using the Wildflowers Flash Cure Light this time to just hold that in place. And then I'm gonna go for one more coat just to give it a nice, perfect shape. So working in thin layers is really your best way to do this. Your customer can come back in two weeks. You can fill it uh, using the clear base and the Wildflowers Clear builds in a bottle. So, you know, once you build these nails, they're good to go. And it's just such a quick, easy way to build nails. Time to file. And I'm gonna skip that part because it's kind of boring. <laughs> and now I'm gonna apply the Wildflowers Metallic Top Coat for the final top coat. Again, if I know the metallic top coat came in your box. It is a great top coat. So if you wanna use that for your final top coat, you can. Or if you do have the Wildflowers Top Coat Gel, I would recommend using that for your final coat. And so here is the finished nail. And now if you are into taking pictures, when you do a nail with a clear tip, you have to mess with your backgrounds. See how I'm moving my hand behind it to kind of see what's gonna look best. I really do love to play around with photography. Like I'm like, eh, nah, 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 nah. Um, I ended up taking a picture of this actually just wrapped around on my own hand. And I found for myself when I do clear nails that I like the way it looks best to just fold it down like this. I hope you enjoyed this and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this.